Hi and welcome to this week's Decred News Update. I'm your host Exodus and I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you get anything of value out of it. We'll start with the most exciting and important element of the project, development updates. Decred version 1.6 is now in release candidate number 3 with more improvements. There are now logs in the privacy tab showing exactly what the CoinShuffle++ mixer is doing when you start it up. Mockups for the privacy tab by Decred designers Eater were presented on GitHub showcasing what the finalized version could look like. Users should be able to send from their default wallet to their unmixed wallet in this tab without having to go to a separate tab. This makes the process of participating in Decred's privacy even easier, and the wallet itself easier to navigate. With more users trying out the release candidate, the number of mixed coins per day is naturally increasing as shown on dcrdata.org. When you purchase a ticket via the new VSPD stake pool system, it will automatically send the ticket through the mixnet, and you pay the stake pool fee to the stake pool as part of the initial transaction, not from your block reward. There is even a new tab displaying ticket status. Treasure staking support is in progress. Decred devs have decided to roll with their own firmware as it might take a long time for the required changes in Treasure's firmware to get merged. CoinShovel++ privacy mixer support in mobile wallets is currently in progress as well. The decentralized treasury rules have passed on testnet without a hitch, meaning the upgrade on mainnet is expected to go smooth as well. This will be Decred's biggest and arguably most important consensus change vote to date, so get your tickets ready. Consensus changes require at least 75% yes votes and a voter quorum or participation percentage of at least 10%. Remember, the big deal about Decred is that it has an operational change mechanism built into the protocol and therefore can be adapted in the future based Based on the will of its stakeholders. This means the protocol will likely never stagnate or deal with community breaking forks as it has a way to implement new features or modify old ones. It's really only a matter of time before the market realizes the power and technology contained within the Decred ecosystem. Once Decred decentralizes its treasury, it will be one of the biggest DAOs in all of crypto. The DEX continues to execute trades via atomic swaps, enabling permissionless price discovery. The impressive buy walls on the DEX have yet to cease. It appears not having to submit your personal information to an exchange or losing custody of your funds has made the DEX an attractive option for Bitcoiners to hedge into DCR. A Litecoin pair should be made available soon. Given Litecoin's low transaction fees, it is likely the lot size will be much smaller, and this could potentially be a popular pair to trade on. Lots of development work has been complete, such as implementing optional SegWit BTC swap contracts, which saves about 30% of transaction fees, generation of new deposit addresses, client tour support, UI improvements, market suspend slash resume functionality, resolve match status on startup, and many other improvements and bug fixes. An API display volume and other data is in the works as well to be placed on the markets page on dcrdata.org. Check out Decred Journal on medium.com for a more complete and in-depth list of all the development work going on for Decred. It is seriously impressive. Plenty of excellent content was produced by the community like the Decred In-Depth podcast and Rough Consensus podcast. The problem is that we don't have a good content distribution strategy. If you look at the, some of the statistics of our content that we produce and that we pay now for, you will see that the numbers first of people who see this, this content and the engagement is really, really low. Okay, so some of the examples uh, I have here. So in Medium, we have the Decred Journal, Decred Marketing Mechanics by Checkmate. We have the Decred Journal for August, July and June by Richard Red. And these four uh, articles have on average like 300 claps, okay? 300 claps is six people because one person can clap 50 times, up to 50 times, right? And so this is like extremely low engagement. And I think what most of the community, you know, like you don't think about it, what most of the community doesn't realize is that if we increase this engagement and, and we put more claps on these articles, then Medium will push these articles to, to more people, right? And suddenly you have bigger um, um, awareness and that's what we are missing at the moment. I just think Decred, just because it's so small and I think the fundamentals are so strong that I think if it starts going in the right direction, it could, you know, it, it only takes one more bull market to like bootstrap liquidity, I think, if it can get it done. I think that the more that Decred integrates into the Bitcoin ecosystem, uh, the better it is for Decred, especially taking advantage of the permissionlessness nature that only like a purely digital organization and a purely digital, um, you know, 
network can operate in in that sort of manner, Decred from a DAO's perspective is probably the best DAO by far. I believe that Decred is, is well and truly undervalued for what it, it offers the world. Project Lead JQ Compile was on the Brave New Coin podcast. You want Decred, I want Bitcoin, and we want to make an exchange. How can we do that in a way that is, you know, stays true to the to the roots of the, you know of the whole of the whole cryptocurrency movement and also do it in a way that's you know that's secure so we focus on uh, doing this in a way that's non-custodial so no one you know controls the coins and then we focus on doing that uh, uh, without any KYC so that so that if you and I want to exchange coins personally there's no person in between who has to you know check our IDs and make sure, you know, Andy's not a bad guy and Jake's not a bad guy. It's all just, you know, there it's disintermediated for the most part. And, and that's the direction we're trying to go with the decentralized exchange. Price discovery should be about people freely exchanging ideas and not about people, you know, basically in a room filled with uh, surveillance cameras, you know, uh, tr you know, uh, transacting. That to me is not the future of, of price discovery. Now let's explore some network stats. The Decred ticket price needed to participate in the proof of stake governance system hit an all time high of 188.85 DCR per ticket. An all time high of 52.77% of the Decred circulating supply was locked away in this system, showing incredible confidence in Decred by its holders due to the fact that tickets are chosen randomly and can take upwards of 4.7 months to be selected to vote. It can be speculated that the deck buyers are staking and that they are here for the long haul. It's always bittersweet to see the ticket price go up so much because it means there's so much confidence in the Decred network, but at the same time, the higher ticket price means there's less tickets to be purchased for every Decred stakeholder. Decred saw plenty of media coverage secured by Mon PR. Brazil has implemented the Decred blockchain for its 2020 elections. This news was syndicated to several different organizations, including Geek Insider and Crypto Briefing, among others. Donations are made in the Brazilian Real through the Voto Legal platform. The final hash is written on Decred's public blockchain, which generates an immutable transaction. It records the name of the person donating and the amount donated along with the date and hour. This guarantees the authenticity of the transactions, promoting reliability in the electoral donation process. Jacob Kampaya, co-founder and project lead at Decred, said Decred was created to champion individual sovereignty. Our governance system is ruled by the collective intelligence of our community to enable truly decentralized decision making. So it's rewarding to see our technology utilized in an election, which has the same goal. At a time where people are seeking transparency in the political process, Decred is leading the way. Decred came in as the number two coin on a coin metrics chart displaying which crypto assets were the most equally distributed in supply. They used a network distributor factor to determine this. Decred has been listed on Hotbit Korea with a Korean fiat pair. Decred open source researcher Richard Red released his Politea year two research results. He writes that in year two, 46 proposals have been published, 38 proposals have been voted on, of those 21 have been approved and 17 rejected. Proposal votes have an average turnout of 27.9%, with a total of 431,496 ticket votes being cast. Six proposals have been abandoned before voting started. There have been 1,327 comments on Polite proposals, and there have been 4,090 up-down votes on comments. Voters were less likely to vote yes on proposals this year. He says mean approval percentage for year two proposals that pass was 78.7%. In year one, this was 85.9%. This year, nearly half of proposals came from contractors already working on the project. You can check out the full article and the rest of his work at blockcommons.org. It's truly fascinating to watch Politea grow and the data around it be studied. Now let's take a look at what's going on with Politea, Decred's public proposal system. We had three different proposals finish voting and one that will be abandoned. The YDecred.com proposal is set to be abandoned as the proposer Paris Smithson has decided to do the work first and produce an initial minimum release of the website in order to better show stakeholders what they will be getting. The GoDCR Golang native desktop wallet proposal passed with 92% yes votes, with a 38% voter turnout. In total, 14,249 votes were cast. The mobile wallets proposal passed with 92% yes votes as well, with a 38% voter turnout. In total, 14,189 votes were cast. And finally, the Decred Address Scanner proposal passed with 67% yes votes and a voter turnout of 34%. Total, there were 13,701 votes cast. Once again, thanks for tuning into this week's news update. Go to decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.